My dad mentioned to me a little while ago that he was having a problem at work. He does sciencey stuff, and he's always running around between his office and some lab or another, and his co-workers would have trouble tracking him down. I decided to see what I could do to help, and came up with this. A Where's Waldo, or I guess Where's Jeff, device that'll sit on his desk and show a message he can update via text message, powered by Arduino and AWS. Let's get started. The guts of the device are basically just a cheap LCD display that can show two rows of 16 characters connected to AWS with an ESP8266 microcontroller. Specifically, this is a Wemos D1 Mini, but everything I did should work with any version. Here's briefly how it all works. My dad sends a text message to a phone number I'm renting through a service called Twilio that lets you, among other things, programmatically send and receive text messages. It's configured to send each incoming message to an API I built using AWS API Gateway, which is backed by a Lambda function. The Lambda function checks with Twilio to make sure the message is legit and that it came from a short list of allowed phone numbers, then it makes a call to AWS IoT. I created a thing in AWS IoT which represents the device. The thing has what AWS calls a shadow, which is basically the state of the device, and this is what the Lambda function changes whenever a new message comes in. AWS IoT devices also have an MQTT topic that sends messages when the shadow changes, and the device is subscribed to this so it gets sent a message and updates automatically whenever you send a text message. If you want to know more about how MQTT works, I cover it in more depth in the Ye Old Fax Machine video, which is linked in the description. The device is allowed to subscribe because I generated an AWS IoT certificate that's associated with the thing and stored a copy on the device. This also allows it to request the device state via a different MQTT topic whenever it wants, which it does when it first boots up so it always shows the most recent message instead of needing to be retexted every time it starts up. Here's the final circuit. Because my dad will have this in his office and I don't know how that Wi-Fi is set up, I'm using a library called Wi-Fi Manager, which makes it easy for the ESP to host its own Wi-Fi network when there isn't one around that it can connect to. It hosts a small website on that network that lets you enter a Wi-Fi name and password, and that's persisted between startups, so it'll remember the most recent network it's connected to. If you have any smart devices in your home, like a Chromecast, you've probably seen this kind of process before. The button you see there is just to reset the saved Wi-Fi configuration to make testing a bit easier. There's also a micro USB breakout board that will power the screen and the ESP, and comes with convenient screw holes so it won't pop off. If you're interested in seeing any of this in more detail, there are links to the Arduino code and a circuit diagram in the video description. The next step was the exterior, which was 3D printed in two parts. One is the base to hold the electronics, and one is a decorative cover. I thought it'd be fun to go with a Where's Waldo aesthetic, so I spray painted the top of the enclosure white, and then cut a bunch of strips of tape to mask out some stripes. I painted over all of that with as close as I could find to Waldo Red, and then very satisfyingly peeled off all the tape. To really make the whole thing Waldo chic, I messed around in an image editor to superimpose my dad's face onto a picture of Waldo, then printed that out and 3D printed a silhouette to match. I cut the picture out and used a spray on glue that I'd never tried before to attach it to the stand. Quick PSA about this particular glue, it says it dries clear but it absolutely doesn't, and the border around the picture was all white and tacky no matter how long I let it sit. I was able to fix this okay with a sharpie but, you know, buy a different glue. I super glued a little magnet into the bottom of the figure and a matching one into the top of the main enclosure so it would hold itself in place. This turned out to be hands down the best part of the project. I initially did this just to make shipping a bit easier and save some printing time, but the side effect was I could now play real life Where's Waldo. This distracted me for a while. When I'd got that out of my system, it was time to put everything together. I took the electronics off the breadboard and soldered everything together, using pieces of wire that were as short as possible to make sure everything fit, since I have a habit of ending projects having to cram everything into place because I've turned the electronics into a total rat's nest. 
The bottom of the enclosure has a little angled mount that holds the screen in place with a few screws, and there's a place in the back to mount the micro USB board where you can easily plug it in. Those little tactile buttons are a pain to mount, so I just super glued it somewhere on the base and just let the ESP hang by its wires. The base fits into the top nice and snug, although you have to finesse it a bit, and then it gets attached with a pair of screws. For one final step, I added some little rubber feet to keep the heads of the screws from scratching up his desk, and the project was done. With that, it's all done. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, and my dad liked it as well. It was fun to experiment with stuff like AWS IoT that I hadn't used before and that will probably come in handy for future projects. I'm particularly enjoying having a little Waldo to hide around the house, enough that I might make another one to keep. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.